and information, this TMI, that's a balancing act, right? Think about this. People are trying to eliminate us, all right? Too much information and the 39% may never connect. No information or bad information and the 61% don't walk in. Remember, 61% of buyers, according to two different studies, make their very first contact with you when they show up at your dealership lot. This doesn't mean they weren't online. It means they were online and they got all the information they needed and they just showed up to buy a car. So we need to be very careful about this 61%. In fact, think about this. For those of you who are Toyota dealers out there, you know that the 2016 Toyota Marketing Covenants, those have hurt your walk-in traffic, especially in your smaller cars. It'll balance out over time. Right now, you're seeing lower sales, but higher grosses. Dealers I work with are seeing, in fact, more total gross from their new cars, Toyota dealers are, than, than they did before, even though they're selling fewer vehicles. And the reason is, is because those 61% they're seeing your information online. They think that's your lowest price. They're just not even coming in. So there's a strategy for getting the 61% to come in our door because with the 61%, right, the people who make no contact with us before they arrive at the dealership, we cannot have one-to-one -one communication. See, that's secondary. We don't get to talk to them until they come in. So we need to be able to give them the information they're looking for before they come to the dealership lot. And that information is three things. It's messaging, it's reputation, and it's pricing. All of these things should be clear on our website. Now, reputation has more to do with your online reputation that's on other sites than it does what you put on your website, but we'll talk a little bit about reputation on your website today as well. Here we're talking about messaging and we're talking about pricing, and this kind of stuff needs to be clear on our website for, this, for, for the 61% to connect with us, for them to come into the dealership. Now, the messaging needs to be about trust, right? We need to have trust messaging, and we can do that with badges and with words. The auto check buyback guarantee, that's a badge that builds trust, right? The free Carfax report, that's a badge that builds trust. If you're a repair pal dealer, having that you're a repair pal certified dealer, that builds trust. But even these badges that are meaningless in the real world, they build trust, right? Absolute best price guarantee, trade in assurance. Those are badges that build trust and our words build trust. If you have a three day money back guarantee, no questions asked, you need to put that front and center, right? You need to put that out right from the very beginning so that your consumers can see that and that will build trust for that 61%. It'll make them want to come in. Now, you also want to have issued focus, issue focused messaging. So we have trust messaging, but we also want to focus on the issues that consumers have. So remember, we talked about the driving sales study. 99% of buyers expect a hassle when they start shopping for the car, right? So what issue can we stop with our messaging? Simple, we're no hassle. Simply saying things, simply having that verbiage on your website, right? This great combination, combination of showing that we're no hassle. We've got great service, we've got fair prices. Just bringing all that together on your website actually makes a difference. It will drive your leads up, but it, more than that, it will drive more of the 61% to drop everything and come down and buy a car. So some other focus messaging around these three items are we have hassle-free or easy buying. Right? We've got a huge selection. Think CarMax, right? You can come here and test drive every vehicle out there. You don't have to go to six different dealerships. Our selection of used cars is so great that you just need to make one stop. That is a, that, that focuses on an issue. It keeps me from traveling all around, right? We've got guaranteed repairs. We've got great deals. We've got a friendly staff. We're customer focused. We have fair pricing. Just saying these words is enough. There's a book called Predictably Irrational. We're going to talk about later as well. People make their decisions. This book found out that people make their decisions based on available information. So if your available information says you have a friendly staff, says you have great deals, says you have fair pricing, people will make their decisions based on that information because you told them that. Now, you want to make sure that all of this messaging builds on an already good reputation. That's pretty critical. Prospects today want transactional transparency. Okay, They're looking for what's called transactional transparency. They want pricing transparency. But they also want something we call transactional transparency. Now, what's transactional transparency? Transactional transparency is letting them know what's going to happen in the dealership. See, how do we show that we're different enough to drive a sale on our website? How do we show that we're not just price transparent, like most of you are today, but that the transaction is transparent? See, information sharing is just one way with the 61%, right? We can use this, though, to also drive the 39% lead. So we can give people information that will make them want to submit a lead, 
right? Information around transaction around the transaction, be transparent around the transaction, that'll drive a lead to 39%. But this really focuses on the 61%. Again, it's a balance of both the 39% that are willing to submit a lead or call us before they come buy a car, and the 61% who aren't willing, but their first contact with us is going to be when they walk in.